Have you ever wondered what legal authority Judge Judy has? Well, it might surprise you to learn that although Judith Scheindlin, famously known as Judge Judy, was indeed a bona fide judge appointed to family court by New York City Mayor Ed Koch in the early 80s, she's not acting as such on her popular daytime TV show. The same applies to all other daytime TV judges, irrespective of whether they've passed the bar and served as actual judges or not. You see, these TV court shows don't take place in real courtrooms, nor do they feature real trials. However, the cases are usually real, with producers often reaching out to parties who have pending litigation in small claims court, offering them the opportunity to appear on TV instead. What you're witnessing on these TV court shows is essentially arbitration masquerading in small claims court attire. Now you may ask, what is arbitration? In essence, arbitration is a legal method for resolving disputes outside the court. The individuals in dispute present their cases to a neutral third-party arbitrator or arbitrators who hear the case, examine the evidence, and then make a usually binding decision. Arbitration is adversarial, much like a court-based case, but it's generally less formal in its rules and procedures. The authority that Judge Judy and other TV arbitrators wield over the disputing parties is granted by a contract specific to their case, which they sign prior to appearing on the show. These contracts render the arbitrator's decision final and binding, prevent the disputing parties from negotiating the terms of the arbitration, and afford the judges wide discretion on procedural and evidentiary rules during the arbitration. After hearing the case, the TV judges make their decision. They may side with the 